Have you ever wanted to be a Neanderthal in the freezing cold, trying to be the biggest, best tribe? Check it out. What's up guys, this is Adam and Jason, Tabletop Vibes, and today we're taking a look at Endless Winter by Fantasia Games. What did you think? I thought it was a fantastic game. I mean, in this game, you are it's a worker placement game, card set collection, area of control game, a lot of stuff going on. Nice. You're set in the Paleo-American era, and in the game, you basically take turns. You're going to try to grow your tribe. You're going to try to gain culture. You're going to build and expand your camp. And, of course, you're going to hunt and eat animals. That's the fun part. And no animals were harmed in the making of this video. None. None. So you do like... Eating animals, yes, but. absolutely. But uh, the visuals were spectacular. Yeah. Um, I really like the fact that the mechanics itself were relatively simple. I mean, really, you have four decisions to make per turn in the worker placement section. Yeah. But the strategy is so immersive. Uh, there's got to be like a hundred different ways to gain victory points in this game. It yeah. is. It is fantastic. So I mean, like he said, like there's a ton of different mechanics mechanisms going on. You would think that it's overwhelming. It's it's actually really not that bad. There, I mean, there's it all just blends beautifully together to make this like immersive game where you're like, I feel like a tribesman in the frigid cold trying to survive, and it's just a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, I love the fact that there's no right way to win, because mm -hmm. like we all took different paths, and I think we all came down to like a couple points away from each other yeah. all the way through, and even like you could feel like this is going nowhere, and then. Boom. Right. Maybe that's one of your favorite. Exactly. Favorite and the portions. thing is, is that this wasn't like, oh, we're all close for the whole game. There was definitely some people would pull away. And then what's great about this game is, is that it, since it's resource heavy, you build up a lot of resources and bam, you have a big turn that really shots your, your, your points ahead. Yeah. You know, and, and catch up and surpass people. So there's a lot of really kind of going back and forth. Uh, you know, if somebody came down and said, oh, who's winning? Who knows? Yeah, we have no idea. Yeah. So, I mean, there it's a lot of... Um, going back and forth of the game yeah. uh unknown who's going to win um there is you know, a lot of up. there's a lot of setup though like yeah. as in uh turn setup cuz you're staging your big turn mm -hmm. but it doesn't i don't think that it diminishes your normal turn though yeah. cuz there's a lot of fun things you get to do i personally my favorite is hunting animals it's so much fun you, you know take an animal or you pick one from the row or you flip one off the top see what you get and that's the set collection portion you can hunt mammoths and saber tooths and whatever else or you can decide if you really want and your tribe is starving mm -hmm. for food or, or points, you can flip it sideways, a.k.a. eating it, in my opinion, <laughs> and, and, and get to use the resources instantly. And so there's always that, like, ah, oh, struggle. Do I keep these because I can get more points or do I eat it and survive? But just putting that as an example, there's other mechanics in the game that will give you points whether the card has been eaten or not eaten. So yeah. even the thing that normally is a, quote, a bad thing, yeah. depending on the other cards that come out, could actually be a good thing. So yeah, like I, I said, a lot of strategy. I here. was actually really surprised by that because I thought that, I think you were, is there, one of us was just eating every animal. Mm -hmm. We didn't save any anything. There was no pets and we were eating all of them. But like there was a lot of stone, sacred stone tiles are pretty much end game victory point mm -hmm. uh, multipliers. And so there was a bunch for for tipping or eating your animals and, and it, it re-levels out the playing field mm -hmm. for set collection. That's great. Set sure. collection. Yeah, for absolutely. sure. Yeah. Uh, there's also one of my favorite aspects is there's modules you can add. Mm -hmm. So, like a ton of them. We haven't even tried them all out. I think there's like cave paintings, ancestral something. Uh, there's rivers and lakes expansion. And it's all like, and it's all simple to add into the game. Right. And that actually leads into kind of one of the things that, uh, you know, you're going to have to have a big table for this. Uh, I mean, it, it, it is a big table hog. Yeah. The base game is a bit of a table hog. And when you start adding those modules, you're going to be taking up every inch. I mean, I built my new table for Tabletop Vibes because I wanted to play this game on my table. So, like, I have the Kickstart version, all the components upgraded. I selected the one big mat. And, I mean, it's massive. I will show you in the picture. But, like, even if you got three of the little mats, you're still going to need a really big table because you got player boards and, and things like that. And so it's, a, it's definitely a table hog. I don't mm -hmm. think it's bad. I just think that you need a big table. Yeah. And the other thing is that because it's so uh, strategy immersive and it is so much of a table hog and there's so much out there, 
You get the classic analysis paralysis that could certainly happen. Every time. <laughs> so I uh, highly advise that, you know, again, the first game playthrough, learn the mechanics. Um, yeah, 100%. You, you're probably not going to do too well the first one because you just got to learn where everything is. Um, but once you kind of figure out all the mechanics and you see kind of the paths of how things are going, like I said, the, the mechanics themselves are relatively simple. Yeah. But, you know, what comes out of them can be very complicated depending on the order that you yeah. do. So, um, but once you learn it, second play through oh it i think we, endless winter endless fun yeah exactly yeah, yeah. and i think we actually played in under two hours yeah like and that's pretty quick for a a four player like in-depth strategy game mm -hmm. like this is and i think the really cool part was like you get so there's like a ton of different tribes men and women that you can you can pick from that do different actions and so like that's where that, a lot of the analysis paralysis mm -hmm. comes in. And there's like a um, eclipse phase. So if you save cards, kind of like uh, Dune Imperium, where you save cards for like the reveal aspect, you can then use them. So in the eclipse phase, you're revealing these cards, gaining you better resources for now instead of later. And there's just all this like intertwined, like cool mechanisms mm -hmm. that really work out. But it's also like, it's it's not a very long game. No, not at, at all. all. Not like, at all. You could probably play two back to back. Yeah. Yeah. And in and, and probably two hours, yeah. and maybe two and a half. The, like, first, yeah. the first game is going to be is <laughs> yes. going to be a teach game. Yeah. And the cool part, like one of the other mechanisms that I really I think just is cool and and shines is that if you're the first person to play on a like location, you get a bonus action. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. So so it really matters in your strategy, you know, what order you do something. So yeah. you know, you may have you know a few actions to do, but you know, if I go there, I get the bonus. Yeah. But if I wait because I really need to do something else, then somebody else may go there and I may not get the bonus. So right. again, good balancing mechanics. And then bad analysis paralysis. Yeah. And that's okay. where that comes in. But yeah, I, I love I love it. And the components of this game are top notch. Fantasia mm -hmm. Games does an amazing job. Like all like the art is beautiful, has a great cool art look. The tiles are like really hefty. The components, you got your mammoth and your leaders that will show and like it's just like top-notch quality absolutely so guys if you like what you see make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos and leave a comment down below and tell us your favorite strategy with yeah. endless winter we'd like to know thanks for watching check you next time